because they don't know the certainty of the things wherein they've been instructed. They're not getting doctrine today. In fact, your average independent Baptist church, here's what they tell you. Son, daughter, you need to go to Bible college for at least one year so that you can get a foundation of doctrine. Well, what have you been doing with my time for the last 17, 18 years when you had three hours a week to preach to me? What are they doing? It's a lot of fluff. It's a lot of rah, rah, shish, goom, ba. It's a lot of encouragement. And look, I'm for encouragement. I'm for a, a pep talk. I'm for motivational sermons. I'm for hard preaching against sin. We need hard preaching against sin. We need somebody to get up and, and, and rip face and cry loud and spare not. But let me tell you something. You know what else we need? We need somebody to teach us the Bible. Amen. And the Bible says the pastor needs to be apt to teach. And we need more teaching going on in churches today. We need to learn the Bible and know the Bible. I want you as a member of Faith Forward Baptist Church to hold this book in your hand and you know that there's 66 books in it and you know what the Old Testament's about and you know what the New Testament's about. You know who wrote it, who it's written to, what it says, what the doctrine is. And then when somebody comes to you with these goofball doctrines like, did you know his name's not really Jesus? It's actually Yeshua? You're immediately going to say, that's a lie. That's a fraud. I know what the Bible says, and I know why I believe it, and I know the certainty of the things wherein I've been instructed. But something as basic as the name of Jesus, that's pretty basic. I mean, would you call the name of Jesus a deep doctrine, or would you say that's kind of a starter doctrine, a basic beginner doctrine? But yet today we have Christians even being drawn away and confused where, where like, whoa, Have we got the wrong name? It's, are, it's like, are you even saved? That's the only name whereby we must be saved. But we have today these institutions called Bible colleges that basically give an excuse for pastors not to teach the Bible because they say, oh, well, you'll get your doctrine over there. And then they ship them off to some other city or some other state to go get their doctrine. And listen, a lot of the doctrine coming out of these Bible colleges is not right. Yeah. It's not the right doctrine. And the doctrine in the local churches is usually better than the doctrine that's found in the Bible colleges. Because usually the local churches, there's a lot of just humble uh, pastors who are reading their Bible and just preaching it as they see it. These institutions that are uh, Bible colleges, you know, they teach a lot of corrupt doctrine. And they have an agenda of bringing in more students, so they, they kind of want to appeal to a broad range of churches. So that's going to affect their doctrine. Whereas, you know, uh, you're more likely to get good doctrine just from a local church, just from an independent pastor who's just got the Holy Spirit living inside of him, and he opens the Bible and reads it and preaches it. You know, and we'd be better off today if people followed the doctrines of the thousands of churches across America than these Bible college doctrines. And the point is that you shouldn't have to go to Bible college and pay a bunch of money to learn the Bible. You should, what, what are we coming to church for on Sunday morning? Sunday night, Wednesday night. Look, if you go to this church for a year, you will learn a lot about the Bible. You will know the Bible well. You don't need to go to Bible college. But you go, come here for a year, and we're only going to take three hours a week, and it's free. And you'll learn more because we're actually teaching the Bible here. But the problem is you get a shallow sermon, everything's an encouragement, everything's a sermon against sin, everything's a motivation to go soul winning. No, 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 we need to balance the package here by teaching the Bible. And you need to learn the certainty of the things wherein you've been instructed. You know, how about for starters, that the New Testament is written in Greek and that the, his name is Jesus, not Yahshua or Yahashua or Yashu, whatever different spellings that the, the Hebrew roots movement or the black Hebrew Israelites or whoever else comes out with of the spelling of the week. 